So Square Enix did its showcase. It really wasn't a press conference. It was just kind of what, like, it's kind of like a Square Enix Direct. Yeah. It's like what Nintendo does nowadays, which I'm cool with. I'm, I'm totally fine with it. I think that E3 press conferences get so bloated and so presumptuous and just, uh, no, no, not presumptuous, pretentious. Pretent yeah, okay. We'll get to that later Okay, wait, on. Enix or Enix? Enix sounds way better. Square Enix, Square Enix. I, I've heard it pronounced officially both ways. Yeah, like people who like they don't even have know been how to pronounce paid their own by name. Square to say it say it different ways. Well, then so, I'm gonna keep saying Enix. Yeah, Square Enix. Sometimes people call it Square Enix. <clears throat> Square Enix. Square Enix. Sounds like a weird brand of tissue. Yeah, it does. Kleenex. Clean. Squeenix. All right. Squeenix. So okay. first thing before we talk about what they did have, I want to talk about what, what they, they didn't, didn't have. have. Yeah. Where's Final Fantasy VII Remake? Where? Where is it, guys? The, the rumors are that they fired the development team that was working on it because they had a company called Cyber Connect, which I've never heard of, but other people have, working on this game. And it wasn't up to snuff, so it looks like they're going to start from scratch. So they're just not... We're not going to hear anything about this game. I, this is... I should have known... It's still the same company that did the whole decades-long delay on Final Fantasy XV. Yeah. This is the same Square Enix that is ma making the you know Kingdom Hearts 3 so long to come out. <laughs> it's not coming out this console generation. There's no way yeah. at this point. And this is... Because, I mean... Yeah. When I saw this trailer, the original remake trailer, mm. it was the whole reason I bought a PS4. Okay. Really? Yes. Because it said announced for PS4. Don't believe the trailers. That's like becoming a mantra, like a, a universal truth. When they show you something in a trailer, don't necessarily take it as, at face value. Okay, was Final Fantasy VII that good? Yes. Why? I just don't get it. It's an RPG, for, right? For many people, it was... For, for me and for a lot of people, it was basically the game that showed you video games can be a lot more than just a game. It can be like a turning point in your in your life because it just it's like video because it's like wow, well, video games to me is like the ultimate is the pinnacle of media. You're talking about movies, you're talking about books, you're talking about music. It involves all of those. Mm -hmm. And Final Fantasy VII really was the first game that showed me that this is what a game can be. It can combine all those elements that you love. Isn't it just an RPG, though? Are you? Yeah, it's an RPG. Where you command people to do stuff for you? Yeah, but the story and the character development is so good mm. in it. And, the, and everything is good. The music is good. The graphics at the time were amazing. The, uh, the battle system is still fun today. And it, it hasn't been... Hmm. I don't know that you can get much better than Final Fantasy 1, though, with the, the, the oh, battle system. Oh, yeah, 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 you can. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a starting out point. Black so, Mage cast fire. Yeah. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it. I'm just, yeah. I'm just want to express that. Apparently they want to spend a whole lot of time on it, though. <laughs> oh, apparently. I mean, I know I'm not the only person who was really disappointed, but I, hear, I don't really hear a whole lot of people talking <clears throat> about it. So I want to talk about it. I noticed... That it wasn't there. So, all right, let's talk about what they yeah. did have. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Laura's back after that movie that everyone loved, where the broken neck. No one saw. It. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah. You know, remember the the poster with the neck where she's like, she's like a dinosaur. She doesn't look like Laura Croft. You saw that right though, the poster. No. You didn't see the memes about the poster. No. I'll look them up after okay. this. Okay. Yeah. Everyone in the everyone watching knows. And you don't. Now, these the current games... Well, okay, yeah. This So this was a movie that was based off the first game in this particular... This is kind of like a prequel series of games that we're doing. There's Tomb Raider that came out in, like, 2013. Then Rise of the Tomb Raider. And now Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the third one. And then I think they're going to be done. Which is good, because I'm tired of buying them. I want to play them. Tomb Raider <laughs> came out when? Uh, it's, like, 2013. It was, it's that was a reboot. the first one? Yeah, it was a reboot. Of original Tomb Raider. Which was like 90. Wasn't that also called Tomb Raider? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
So these are just these next three: the the Tomb Raider Rise and and, and then Shadow, Shadow the Tomb Raider are sequels of that reboot that happened in 2013. So that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Think Batman Begins. So Dark this, Knight. So the third one, this Shadow one, is like in order with the other two. Like it's the next one after. Yes. Yeah. And I think it's gonna be the last one that they do, and then they might like make just normal ones where it's not because it's still talking about her origins. And I think it's fascinating. I haven't gotten into Tomb Raider games until now. Um, so, or, you know, until the reboot happened. So they've, they use, they play very similar to games like Uncharted. Uh, there's some Resident Evil 4 stuff going in, which is also really cool. Uh, but, and what they showed in this trailer, um, looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you're in a jungle, you're doing a lot of, I thought it was cool that at one point she like finds some mud and like basically just you can put it on your body to yeah. make you blend in more with your surroundings. There's um, like temples and stuff and you can go underwater. Yeah, there's there's yeah. swimming, there is uh it just seems like this is a, an evolution of the series. So. Yeah, it looks like it's got a good story and gameplay. Yeah. So so I've got it pre ordered. It interests me. I want it. Next on the list, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, Under the Moonlight. I don't play Final Fantasy XIV. If you do, this expansion looked like it was Oh, it's a, like cool. an update, like a yeah. DLC? Yeah. Uh, or uh, it's like the next phase. It's kind of like how World of World of Warcraft... Why are they doing that for fourteen? Is that an online game? Fourteen's online only. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. I was going to say, like, why, why are they doing it It's an, an MMO. Okay. Um, and then apparently they're also doing... A crossover between Final Fantasy XIV and Monster Hunter World. Hmm. I don't know how that works. At first, I thought it was because Monster Hunter World has been doing crossovers with like Devil May Cry and Street Fighter, which Capcom owns those. So since Capcom does Monster Hunter World, yeah, sure, no sweat. They can do whatever they want with their properties. But this is one MMO kind of combining with another online action RPG. You could mm -hmm. argue that Monster Hunter is. And this is actually going to... I think it's going to affect both games. I think you're going to have elements from Monster Hunter World come over to 14, And same thing with Monster Hunter World. You're going to see Final Fantasy XIV monsters appear in Monster Hunter World. Mm. And they're going to be hunts. So that's, I think that's kind Hunter's, of cool. Monster Hunter is fun. Yeah, it's I've fun. never... I've never played it just because... Okay, wait. Am I wrong? Or is that... That's like the game where you like the dudes with like the guns and stuff. No, way. No, Monster Hunter, like you. No, that's like a that's like an RPG thing, right? Monster Hunter. Yeah, it's an action RPG. Okay. You, and it's a lot. A lot of it's about looting. Like you, you kill monsters to get monster parts to like get better weapons and armor, and the cycle oh. continues and continues. Which is why I don't really like it. Hmm. I was thinking of a different game entirely, but you also hunted monsters, so you can you can understand understand yeah. <laughs> next on the list of things that don't interest me captain spirit yeah. <laughs> what captain did you see any of captain spirit no it takes place in the same universe as life is strange never played it don't want to play it it's a really angsty teen thing uh captain spirit is about this like 10 year old boy i guess who who pretends that he has superpowers we didn't really see much of what he does but all i know is he's a boy that thinks he has is superpowers the, is the theme or... song captain spirit he's a hero no but it is take, oh. it is pretty cheery or, or cheery and 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 cheesy like he, he imagines that he's in space so you see him in space but it's all like crayons drawing on the stars no that life is strange oh, is oh. angsty this is like not, but it takes okay. place in the same universe. I was gonna, yeah. Life is strange sounds angsty. Captain Spirit sounds just not. Oh, it is. All right. Uh, next on the list, Dragon Quest Eleven. Which I don't know why it takes so long for these games to come over, but Dragon Quest Eleven launched in the fall for for both PS4 and 3DS. What interested me initially is I like the 3DS version of this game because at one point in the game. Or, or like in the the opening parts of the game, this doesn't happen for PS4. PS4 is just like the PS4 version. On the top screen, the game plays like a modern 3D RPG. Mm -hmm. On the bottom screen, it plays like a 16, 8 bit or 16 bit two dimensional RPG. Same game, but running like one is 
two dimensional. Oh, that's cool. Traditional, yeah. And on the top, it's three D. On a three DS, that looks. I, I will, and I've never played a Dragon Quest game before, but other than that, well, it's not out yet. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. And they've only announced <clears> that <throat> it's coming out for the PS4 here, but I would, I'm more interested in the three DS version of the game, to be honest. Hmm. It's not as pretty as the PS4 version, but you you don't need it to be. Um, so I really hope that that comes over for the 3DS. It hasn't been released or announced for the for North America audiences yet, so there is that. Uh, next we have Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, which has a Dragon Quest XI thing, and it's a mobile game that no one plays, Square, or anyone else. Oh, it's who a ha- mobile game. It's a mobile game. Brave Ex- Exvius. It's a mobile game. With a bad title. Yeah. I don't that. know. Okay. Babylon's Fall. It's some kind of new IP. The only thing we got was it kind of... I got uh, Visions of White Knight Chronicles. Maybe it's because I recently played... Oh, yeah. I beat White Knight Chronicles too. Nice. I don't know if that happened before or after. I think that was actually before. Never mind. But it's still pretty recent to me. Um, White Knight Chronicles kind of seems like it because it was kind of like a giant mech game, but they looked like knights and kind of had a more medieval feel to them. Um, It's a brand new IP. No one knows anything about it. Hmm. Um, All we know is that Platinum Games is making it. Platinum Games, of course, made Bayonetta, um, the wonderful 101 for the Wii U. They they just kind of make odd games that show up on different platforms so probably very fast action gameplay is what we're looking at um they announced that near automata is coming to the xbox one that's how you pronounce it then huh i think so that's the best (laughs) i can do with the no practice uh but yeah it's coming to the xbox one i i thought it was already out on the xbox one apparently it was a ps4 exclusive Hmm. and or pc also exclusive now you gotta get it steven no i don't i I don't I don't play the game. Sorry. I don't even know what it is. Okay. <laughs> this next one. Octopath Traveler. I'm gonna spend some time on, on, on this one. Oh boy. So number one, it I love the way that the game looks. Okay, I'm not ragging on that. I'm and I'm not down on the fact that it is a retro style RPG. The graphic style is really neat. I like how the art style is a you you basically it reminds me a lot of did you ever heard of hear of 3D game dot heroes or 3D dot game heroes I mm. forget what it was called but it kind of looked like Minecraft and and eight bit like versions of 3D models mm. and it played like Zelda but it had like depth of field like there was like focus effects and everything yeah. on the visuals and it it was like a mixture of retro but modern. This is kind of how that game looks to me. It has like flat characters but 3D uh, environments and it looks hand drawn like the the art style is is really cool but my thing is why are they doing this with a brand new IP? Why can't we see something like I don't know Chrono Trigger be done in this style like make a sequel to Chrono Trigger with this and you will sell more games. Also, I don't understand Square Enix's fascination with stupid names for their games. Octopath. Octopath like... Trap. It, okay, when I read that title, I imagined like a bunch of people in a submarine looking for oct- like, like because something about octopus. Because there's eight characters. <laughs> yeah. But when you have Octo with a P, then your brain automatically fills that as octopus. Like octo- octopus it Sounds trap. like a... You put... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. They need to stop with these stupid titles or subtitles for their games. Like, Bravely Default. I don't... That's a, an RPG for 3DS. I don't know what that means. Yeah. That doesn't sell me on the game. Kingdom Hearts is not exempt because you have 358 over two days. That's a stupid subtitle. And Birth by Sleep also doesn't make sense. Birth by Sleep. It, you can kind of, like, maybe throw your own spin at it and be like, well, I... I well, 358 over two days. Well, the game does take place over a period of 358 days. What's the over two for? I don't, does it mean Rock, Roxas and Shion? Does it mean Roxas and, and Sora? Those are the two? I don't know. The game doesn't explain it. Birth by Sleep, it's a little bit better, but 
spoilers, by the way, if you haven't played these games, and your fault if you haven't because they've been out forever. Birth by sleep, does that mean that Ventus's heart went to sleep, therefore giving birth to Sora's powers with the Keyblade? I don't know. Again, <laughs> the game doesn't explain it. So they keep making these stupid titles <laughs> that you're just supposed to, to figure out, and I'm tired of it. And I, you also want to make a game sound attractive in its title. Right. And this, Octopath this, Traveler sounds dumb. Like so, It sounds like a little kid's game, honestly. So here's what's going to happen. This game's not going to sell all that well, and so Square is going to be like, well, I guess people don't want retro RPGs. And that is not the reason it doesn't sell well. You name it something stupid, mm-hmm. and you give it a and you give it a brand new IP, and you don't make it like a Chrono Trigger game or you know something Final Fantasy related. Do something where you already have branding. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not interested in the game yeah. because of it. The only thing that looks good is the art style. Uh, so moving on from that. Uh, Just Cause 4, it looks a lot like Just Cause 3. What's that? It's like, it's like an open... Just Dance spinoff? Op- no, no, no. Oh. It's an open world... <laughs> Another wasn't, dumb that name. That wasn't bad. Yeah, is it Just Cause? Just Cause. Or <laughs> yeah. it's a Just Cause. Yeah, that's true. I, well, I first read it as Just Cause. But I guess it is Just Cause. That makes way yeah. more sense. But it's for... <laughs> it's, it's basically... Uh, I forget who develops it, but it's basically their version of an open world GTA Grand Theft Auto style game Hmm. you have a like a a a pulley or or a a a grapple hook that you can do cool things with I've seen a lot of cool gameplay videos with on three and it just looks like four is going to be similar to this where there are weather conditions now to worry about like tornadoes and things like that so Hmm. looks like a fun sandbox game um, then you have something that was really weird called The Quiet Man. And what I got from it is it's a <laughs> new IP starring a deaf protagonist who beats people up for no reason. Sounds like that movie, um, Don't Breathe. What, with the old man in the house? Yeah. he's No, he's blind. He's blind. He's not deaf. Right? Right. He's like blind and there's like blind, but he can like, he like beats the crap. hear every, yeah. everything you say. It's creepy. Or Quiet Man, breathe. okay. The so, Quiet Man, yeah. it, and it, this was weird. This was another misstep in how they presented something. This guy, so it starts out live action, okay. Mm-hmm. And this guy who's got like a hood on walks down an alley in in uh, a city, and there are these two. I'm sorry, they look Mexican to me. These two Mexican, like I guess they were gang members or something, and they tell him basically to get <clears throat> lost. And then it he takes his hood off at one point and he's got like a paper bag that he's carrying and then it like transitions over into game gameplay footage or just not real, it's like graphics at this point. And he just puts the paper bag down and he starts beating the crap out of these guys. Alright. And then and then at the very end it transitions back to live action with one of the guys on the ground and he sets the paper bag on his face. I don't understand. This is almost as weird as Death Stranding. Like, this does not make any sense. And again, it's a new IP. You didn't sell me on it. Yeah. You have to do better than, oh, how about someone who, oh, and he, like, says, like, he can't hear. So judging judging from his hand gestures saying that he can't hear when these guys are telling him to get lost... And the title of the game, The Quiet Man, I'm assuming he's deaf. So that's probably going to come into gameplay. Like, you're not going to hear like you normally do, but there will be audio cues, something like that. But I don't. Under- I still don't understand why he's beating people up. Did you know The Quiet Man was a film that came out in 1952, and it was a drama romance? I did not know that. They stole it. Yep. So Where you're going to n- get 90% sued. on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. Quiet Man, <laughs> 1952. <laughs> I totally see how this ties in. Yeah. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least. Last on the agenda, something I am looking forward to, although it was supposed to come out this year, and it is not. It is going to come out, like, at the end of January. You missed your window again, Square. What are you doing? Kingdom Hearts 3, which, by the way, we've seen three times. We saw it once. It was once at Xbox... The oh. Microsoft press conference, yeah, where they showed off uh, Frozen, 
the Frozen World, and this. Aren't you excited about that? Yeah, it's great. I I love everything I've seen in the game so far. Um, Can you play oh, as Elsa? This this was no, you don't. They help you. They're yeah. like they're like NPC characters, but they're in your party and they're AI controlled. Yeah, that's how every Kingdom Hearts game is like. But. Uh, I think ever I think the meme that came out of that is the saying is Aqua got norded. What? And if you have not played Kingdom Hearts, you don't know what that means. No. Nope. So I, I will do my best to explain it. There's a character named Aqua, who's from the prequel Birth by Sleep. Long story short, she's lost in the realm of darkness, and part of this trailer you see her, or you see Mickey kind of open a portal to the realm of darkness and she turns around and she's got yellow eyes which is never a good thing when people have yellow eyes because they've been like taken over by Zaya Nort. So that's where Norted comes from. Mm. Zaya Nort is like the big villain of the series. And he turns around or, she, or Aqua turns around and says Mickey you're too late. So Aqua got Norted. Yeah. Aqua got Norted. All right. If you didn't understand what that means, I'm the only person who will take time on the internet to explain it to you. <laughs> and a small amount of time. So, yeah. Uh, it's looking it's looking good, although I just I just want to play it at this point. Like, I just... Yeah. I feel like this game should have been done, like, two years ago, but it's Square Enix. They take their time on everything. They really do. Like a remake. 